So it's early in the morning on Memorial Day. I'm walking my dogs, pulling a weight sled with my kid in it. And I am cannot get over the fact that the Democratic National Committee is saying there will not be a debate to decide the nominee for president. Welcome back to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we have an explosive topic to discuss. Hollywood actor James Van Der Beek has recently made headlines for his scathing remarks on the Democratic Party. He has accused them of rigging the 2024 primary in favor of Joe Biden, and he did not hold back. Let's dive into the details and explore the hypocrisy he claims to have witnessed. But before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Now, let's get started. Hey there, everyone. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today, we have something really interesting to talk about. Hollywood actor James Van Der Beek recently took to social media to express his frustration with the Democratic Party. He believes they rigged the 2024 primary to ensure Joe Biden's victory. Let's take a closer look at his accusations and see if there's any truth to them. It's early in the morning on Memorial Day. I'm walking my dogs, pulling a weight sled with my kid in it, and I am cannot get over the fact that the Democratic National Committee is saying there will not be a debate to decide the nominee for president. Are you f kidding me? There's no debate. There's no debate over an 80 year old man who if he lives will be the oldest sitting president in the history of the country. And if he doesn't live has a vice president whose approval rating is worse than his. This guy's obviously declining mental faculties. You're putting him up in front of a podium with flashcards telling him who to call on and what the questions are going to be. And you're telling us there's no debate? What about the will of the people? <laughs> and I, and no, that's just not even the will of the people. What about the will of the people who voted for the guy last time? Because of those people, 72% think there ought to be a debate of the people who voted for Biden last election. 72% want a debate. James Van Der Beek has been a vocal supporter of progressive causes in the past, but his latest remarks have raised many eyebrows. In his social media posts, he claims that the Democratic Party, the very party he once championed, engaged in a hypocritical act of rigging the primary election. According to him, they used unfair tactics to manipulate the outcome and secure Joe Biden's nomination. James Van Der Beek did not mince his words during interviews where he passionately expressed his disappointment and anger towards the Democratic Party. He argued that the party's leadership had always claimed to champion fairness and inclusivity, yet they resorted to rigging the primary, undermining the very principles they stood for. So the DNC is openly ignoring bypassing the will of the people. Why? This was a democracy of the people, by the people, for the people. If we don't have a debate, this is not a democracy by the people. It's a democracy by them. For <laughs> who? Big banks, big business, big business, big tech, big pharma, big government, big whatever. I mean, what the hell? How is this a democracy? And how is anybody in the DNC right today... <laughs> going to post about thanking our troops and thanking the families who have made the ultimate sacrifice to preserve our democracy and our way of freedom. And listen, I am grateful for them, but any member of the DNC who's going to think about posting that today, stop, think, and do your job before you start posting about how grateful you are. That there are people out there who are willing to die to preserve democracy because you are not preserving democracy right now. Now, let's be clear. Joe Biden went on to win the 2024 primary and ultimately became the Democratic Party's nominee. However, James Van Der Beek argues that the means by which this victory was achieved were far from ethical. He believes that the Democratic Party manipulated the primary process to suppress other candidates' chances and secure Biden's nomination. You're shoehorning your pick and forcing it on the rest of us. And don't tell me that the other candidates aren't serious because one of them is polling at 7%. The other one is at 19%. The 
that is a quarter of the vote who already thinks there's at the very least some debate about who ought to be president. There's no debate, there's no democracy. No primary, no legitimate president. So thank you to all the troops. Thank you to the families who have made the ultimate sacrifice to preserve our way of life, to preserve our democracy. Let's all do our part. We need a debate. How do we have a government? How do we have a democracy? If we're letting a small little back room of people make all the important decisions for us. That's not a democracy. And it doesn't work. It's important to note that James Van Der Beek's remarks have sparked a heated debate online. Some have supported his claims, suggesting that the Democratic Party has a history of playing favorites during primaries. Others have dismissed his allegations as baseless and lacking concrete evidence. Whatever the case may be, his statements have certainly ignited a conversation. Well, that concludes our discussion on Hollywood actor James Van Der Beek's scathing remarks regarding the alleged rigging of the 2024 primary by the Democratic Party. It's a topic that has certainly caused a stir in the political landscape. What do you think? Do you believe there is any truth to James Vanderbilt's claims, or do you think it's just another conspiracy theory? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more engaging discussions on current events. Until next time, take care and stay informed.